on Strike It Lucky tonight. Ethel Moriarty from London. Michael Fiddes from Newcastle. And Charlie Clark from Scotland. All these people and more on the best of Strike It Lucky. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore. special compilation in which we're showing some of my favourite memories from previous shows. I'm often asked what makes a good game show host, and I say grace and movement. To strike the floor. <laughs> pantomime. How many moves would you like? <laughs> 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 you did that. Come I on. Never tried. <laughs> I'd like you to meet a lady from the very first show, and I think she's somewhere in here. Now, what's your name? It's Barbara... Clutterbuck. Clutterbuck. <laughs> nice. I'm not... I'm not laughing. I'm so stuck. <laughs> Clutterbuck. Yeah. So... Yeah. Yeah, are you sure? I'm no, sure. I am. What? I am, but my mother's Clutterbuck. You're a what? Sure. You're sure? Yeah. But my mother's Clutterbuck. That's right. <laughs> oh, is this a quiz? Oh, yeah. right, I might go. Um, <laughs> microphone. Your, oh, no, your name's Shaw. Yeah, that's right. I see, and your no, Clut... I'm Clutterbuck. Yeah. His mother's Clutterbuck, <laughs> and he's Shaw. Well, his, his mother's Shaw. No, his mother's Clutterbuck. Yeah, but she changed the name. <laughs> yeah. She changed the name by Dean Cook. Yeah, I see, yeah. And uh, what, 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 what's your occupation? I'm a telephone engineer. You're an engineer? Yeah. I see. Trisha? And I'm hoping to be a model. You're hoping to be a model? Well, I think you've got a very good chance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what sort of a model? <laughs> <laughs> I like my beer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, that, where are you from? Posh Park, Stepney. Posh Park, Stepney? No, you yeah. oh, I see. He's <laughs> angry. That's it. And, uh, what are you doing, Gabriel? You're still working? Not likely. I'm, Not... 70... <laughs> I'm 70 years young. 70 years young, are you? And uh, what, 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 you, what did you used to do, Gabriel? Traffic Warden. Traffic Warden. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you do then? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I used to do Manuel. Manuel? And, uh, Bruce Fulsart, I suppose. And Bruce, go on, do us one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> go on, Bob, you said you'd do them. Uh, go on, come round here, come round here. Oh, me? Yeah, come round this side. Right, okay. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, Strike It Lucky. Our first two contestants are uh, Michael's. Uh, you want the wrong shout? You're in, uh, Michael and Cheryl, right. Hang on, 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 Oh. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> right, what's your really no, no, down the camera now. Down there, for goodness sake. I'll make a note. That was... That was... Uh, you went into Norman Wisdom there. Oh, never. <laughs> yes, you did. Oh, never. You went into Norman. It was you. You got oh, your back to the camera again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur Fletcher is a man I'll never forget, a former Oxford professor at the age of 81. He even managed to shut me up. <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> And Arthur, where uh, do you live? I, I was born in North China under the Dardra uh, Empress. 
Born in North China? I, I, yes, and, uh, but I'm now living in Chichester. <laughs> may, I, may I please ask you a personal question? Ask not, not offensive. <laughs> no, not no, offensive. no, you can say what you like, Arthur. Are you having, by any chance, a great-great-grandfather named John or Lionel? Oh, John or Lionel Barrymore? Uh, possibly a, a great-great-grandmother, <laughs> Ethel. Ethel Barrymore. You mean the, the Barrymores of America, the, the acting family? Indeed. You, yeah, you, you seem mean... to have the histrionic talent. Uh, oh, thank you. Very nice. You mean... <laughs> you mean you, it... You've been inherited it from somewhere. Yeah. Uh, are, are, you, are you related? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> But I, I, it's very nice because I mean that's a compliment. I mean because the Barrymores were so they were called the, um, the the royal family of oh uh, greatest three greatest trio mm. in yeah. the yeah. history. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And uh, what do you do for a living? Or what do... uh, well, I, I I was teaching uh, schoolmaster, but uh, uh, schoolmaster. I, I'm writing uh, a thesis on uh, probability trochaic. Probability. What was that sort of? Tro cake. A uh, uh, tro cake, yes. Tro, tro cake, yes. Uh, that, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Arthur. That, uh, mathematics. That, uh, oh, mathematics, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, uh, may I, or, uh, I think uh, this is the last. Lovely. Yeah, Lovely. Uh, this is the last. <laughs> 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 Ask you a favour. Oh, no, yeah, if you want to win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes? No, that's a good girl. And what's your name? M Macon. M Macon. Macon. Same Ma as yours. Oh, same as mine, is it? <laughs> uh, Mick. You've got Mick on there. Oh, well, that's what my nana called us. It's got your nana called you, is it? Are you from Geordie Land? No. No. Newcastle. Newcastle. <laughs> Yeah, Let's <laughs> go for a wee. <laughs> Anybody else want to go for a wee before we... <laughs> Little girl's just gone for a wee mick. <laughs> Not for a wee mick, but for a wee mick. <laughs> Well, I hope she comes back in time for the show. There we are. <laughs> I'll tell you what, come on. And a Concorde flight. That's it. That's all yours. Thank you, go. All you come, young lady. There we are. Let's say we did get over there on the side. OK, just put yourself down there. I'm retired. <laughs> what did you do before, girl? Worked for the gas board, I told Sid, but he took no notice of me. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> oh, yes. You're so nice and light. I'm going to hold you up and have a little chat with you. All right. <laughs> you are light, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, she's ever so light, yeah. <laughs> That's lovely. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Say hello, Ethel. Oh. <laughs> you want to be a striking? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're all right. You're lovely, you are. No, just stay there. Don't move. Just stay there a minute, because I'll, I'll get myself up here. There. Oh, don't move that. That happened. Yeah. Come here. Ed. There we are. All right. Oh, that's lovely. There we are. I know me underwear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we've got uh, Kim and Andrew. Andrew. Pong. Pong. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Andrew Pong. That's for some, for some reason that makes people laugh. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, is that uh, a popular name from where you come from? <laughs> not really. No, no it's not. No. How many? It's... Whereabouts are you from? Originally from Malaysia. Malaysia. And yeah. how many Pongs are there in? Uh, <laughs> No, no, because we've got a lot of Smiths. <laughs> At least five. Eh? At least five. At least five Pongs? Yeah. <laughs> have you got a Pong? Are you married? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> have you got a Pong of your own? <laughs> 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 a little baby Pong. Eh? 
You got a little baby pong. You know what? What's uh, you got a little baby? Yeah. And boy or a girl? It's a girl. A girl. Yeah, she's Mei Ping. That's the name. Mei Ping. Mei Ping. Are you sure? Oh no! Oh dear! It's hyphenated. Oh, that's brilliant, eh? It's hyphenated. It's hyphenated. It doesn't matter what. It's still ping pong. <laughs> We call it Pong Mei Ping, you see. Oh, Pong Mei Ping. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's only over here. It's worse. I mean... I'm sorry, but Pong Mei Ping, any moment now. <laughs> Mary had a little watch. She swallowed it one day. So she took some castor oil to pass the time away. The castor oil, it did not work. The watch, it did not pass. And now, if you want to know the time, you have to look up Mary's... Oh, oh I, I forgot the last one. <laughs> Okay, just come down here. Now, this is where we make a great big leap because we allow you three hotspots. Two of them have gone. There's two screens to go. You've got £1,200. You're trying to get to 2000 If you do it on this one, you don't have to go on to the end one. This is for £2,000, okay? All on this and all your prizes. So, for your jackpot, the one you chose to go for, do you want the top, the middle, or the bottom? <laughs> the top one for £2,000! Yes! One of the most uh, graceful ladies on the show was Pat Edridge, seen here with a friend Gary. Brass band. You're playing a brass band. I did a spy something down there. <laughs> you can't really miss it. You've brought this uh, thing with you, haven't you? Yes. What, what, what is it, sir? It's a tuba. A tuba? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Don't let it near him. He's a plumber. Don't go. <laughs> <don't... laughs> get hold of that. That'll be a bath in about five minutes. <laughs> Can you. you, you it's, look, sir. Lovely instrument. Hold your instrument up. There you are. And, <laughs> and you. Can you play, play us a tune? It's a tune. Go on. Give us a little tune. I'd like you to meet a canny farmer from the Highlands of Scotland, Sandy Murdoch. First category is locations. Two, three, or four, Sandy? Two. Two. Four. Huh? Four. Two. Right. Where would you find scenery? Uh, would, you, would you read it the words? I can't see them. <laughs> can't see them? No, not too well, no. 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 no would you Have you got them? any glasses? I've got them. I forgot them. I forgot to bring them. You forgot to bring them? <laughs> well, that's handy, isn't it? It's just like, yeah. Um, do you want to come a bit nearer and have a look? No, I don't think so. Shall I read them out? Yes, that's right. I've got some binoculars down here. <laughs> want, want to try those? <laughs> see if you can see them through there. Yes. This could take all night. <laughs> yeah, just adjust it, those right there. Aha! Uh -huh. See them? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 the question is, theater. Theater. That's right. Another 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 Yeah, I know there's another one. There's a chap. If a U-boat comes through there, you're going for it. <laughs> now, next, you're going to see some of the talent we had on the show. 
You do your John Wayne. You do your John Wayne. A guy came into the saloon the other day and said that he was suffering from... It's a microphone. You need a mic. Here, was right? suffering from <laughs> chap lips. I told him to go outside, lift up the tail of his horse and kiss it on the bum. <laughs> he said, will that cure my chap lips? I said, no, but it sure as hell stop you from licking them. <laughs> You send one letter to me. <laughs> Gordon did it, right? <laughs> Nothing to do with me. <laughs> where'd you find? Is he your toy boy? Is he? <laughs> <laughs> he is, more or less. So where, where did you meet? Uh, well, I, I was walking in the park and I picked her up. <laughs> <laughs> what were you disguised as, Bertha? <laughs> I had two dogs with me. Two dogs. Yes. So you still got the dogs, have you, Bertha? No, unfortunately. No. Oh, but they've gone. He's still got his. Uh, yeah. What's yours called? <laughs> Woofy. What? Huh? Woofy. Woofy? <laughs> and um, do you feel well? You look very well, Bertha. Oh, marvellous. Marvellous. Uh, and what do you put that down to? Oh. Uh... Oh, Woofy. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you and Woofy get up to then? <laughs> <laughs> Just come out here, show, show us a bit of how supple you are. Stand clear. Oh, stand clear. <laughs> oh, dear, I'm going to give this up. <laughs> Hi, Jill. Hello. Nice to meet you. And Annette. And what are, what are, where are you two from? Stockport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, st what's up? What's up? I'm looking at that basic thing. Ah, ah, ah. So what do you do? I work in the job centre. In the job centre? Yes. yes. And what about hobbies, the two of you? Um, we do a little bit of tap dancing. Uh, oh, you don't do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tap dancing. Oh, tap dancing. You've been here long enough, um, uh, Kaliyaji Lolly, <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Tap dancing. Tap dancing. So, how long have you been doing that? About 12 months. You want to show us? You know, do you want to see? Uh, you want to... <laughs> come on, Jill. Come on, Annette. Randy, come. Stand this way. <laughs> hey. You to join in. Hey, what are you, you saying? Want, you want to join in? Oh, I might. Well, I've done enough, haven't you? Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dolly, well, hello. Dolly.
We do that in the job centre. Uh, you do that in the job centre? <laughs> no wonder there's unemployment. <laughs> run a show with somebody like that. <laughs> and what better way to finish the show than these two lovely ladies from Lancashire? Oh, it's your, your, your social club, yeah. yeah. Social That's why I started in the yeah. social clubs. Yeah, well, that. You know, it's a good training ground for Oops. comedians and things like that. Yeah. Well, mm. well, I'll become one eventually. <laughs> There's a bit of dancing and singing. Yeah. What do you do? Do you sing? Yeah, we Oh, don't yeah. start encouraging them. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. Sing, sing together. Oh, dear? Yeah. What do you do? What number? What's your favourite number? Blackpool Bell. Huh? Blackpool Bell. Blackpool Bell. Mm -hmm. Go on, then. Off you go. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, the Blackpool Bell was a getaway train bound from the northern station. Ooh. A beautiful sight on a Saturday night. Come for the illumination. There were mothers and dads and girls and lads, young and fancy free. Out for a laugh on the golden mile in Blackpool by the sea. I remember very well all the happy guys aboard the Blackpool Bell. That's all we've got time for. I'll see you around soon. Look after yourselves. Be happy. Be safe. Good night. God bless. All right. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>